So you might be wondering why I did that. And let me explain myself. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. Inside these batteries, there's a little board in there, circuit board called a BMS, battery management system. And one of the functions of that battery management system is to provide short circuit protection to this battery because this being a lithium battery, it's very, very energy dense, more so than a uh, lead acid battery. So that's why those boards have become standard. And I was testing the function of that board. And obviously, you know, this is what you get with the, with the cheap battery. So if you're new around here, my name's Jeremy. Let's get into it. This is a $50, cheap $50 battery picked up on Amazon. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about that because obviously I don't want you to buy this battery. It's not gonna get recommended by me uh, because it failed the short circuit protection test. It did, however, pull capacity at 10.062 amp hours and it's rated for 10 amp hours. So it did pull capacity, but it, but it failed this short circuit protection test. Now, if you already have this battery, I would get a fuse on it. If you don't already, make sure you fuse it. So what I think happened, I think all that smoke, uh, going from the, the battery to these posts, they're usually 18 or 16 AWG wires, just little short wires. I think all that smoke was the insulation burning off of those wires. So that's kind of my theory. Let's, uh, let's open it up and see how bad the damage is in there. See exactly what's going on. And don't worry, I will definitely be wearing my safety glasses and if anything happens i've got this fire bag throw the battery right in here and we'll get it outside let's void the warranty i'm pretty sure we already void the warranty but we're gonna crack it open here we go didn't didn't take much crack into this thing so Nermake Nermake Nermak 10 amp hour toasted lithium iron phosphate battery I was wrong I thought these wires here burn up but they did not look at that these terminals here Got pretty hot. Burned through that fish paper. It was pulling at one point 150 amps. Oh yeah. Yeah, she got pretty pretty warm around there. Oddly enough, so far the bill quality doesn't actually look too bad from what I can tell. just this BMS failed and that was actually a couple days ago when this thing went up so um, after it went up it went it went outside and just sat there just in case there's a problem with thermal runway and I didn't think there would be because these are lithium iron phosphate cells uh, thermal runway typically happens on um, lithium ion type cells these are the safest cells out there safest chemistry out there there is still voltage on this thing yeah look at that still voltage on this thing 13.3 volts Yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna put any more pressure on it. Um, really want to get it out of out of here, but it, it's really in there. It's, it's glued down back here really well. The whole bottom of it's glued down, and I don't want to damage it anymore. Uh, especially since I already know the short circuit protection doesn't work. So my opinion about this battery. The build quality is not bad. Um, it looks very familiar. I can't 
replace what up what battery it looks like but I know I know I've seen this build before it's just relabeled the BMS however uh, I don't think I've seen this BMS and it really doesn't look like there's much on it so this BMS there's a there's a number right there if you can see that XCZ dash Fort S 2040 dash VC uh, the date on it is 2021 May 10th of 2021 yeah there's like little appears to be some hot marks there on the the bottom of these cells so yeah this this thing got got really hot really fast um, BMS didn't do its job I'm going to uh, I'm just gonna do it right now I'm gonna put this in my, in my fire bag and properly dispose of this battery the and if you guys want one of these I, I'm not I don't do sponsorships or whatever but this is like 13 bucks on Amazon so I'll leave the link down in the description but just a little peace of mind it's actually for lipo batteries there's a thing here so you can charge your lipos without having to worry about them catching on fire uh, they're a lot more susceptible to fires than um, lithium iron phosphate basically if you want a lithium iron phosphate battery catch on fire you need to throw it in a fire so these are the safest chemistry that that's why this is my favorite type of battery even this shitty she even with the shitty BMS um, you know I wasn't really worried about it starting a fire if you have this battery I would say get a fuse on it 10 amp fuse uh, I wouldn't go anything I wouldn't go over 10 amps at all uh, if you're looking for a battery I've got a bunch of links in the uh, on my website for batteries I do recommend if you haven't been there yet isopower.com so uh, tell me what you guys think let me know if you have this battery or if you have if you want to see the inside of another battery so obviously I'm disappointed about this you know $50 battery it's a 10 amp hour like Dakota lithium that they have 10 amp hour they're 100 bucks so this was like half half that price I was really hoping to be a good one and the reason being is I like to be able to recommend batteries to you guys so then you guys go buy the batteries use my link and I get a little uh, just a little chunk of that change from that battery sale it doesn't cost you any more so when I come across these batteries you know I paid my own money 50 bucks for this and I can't recommend it so it's just disappointing um, and there's just so many of these batteries out there that are just junk. I, I had no idea there'd, there'd be so many. The majority of the bad ones I've come across are the smaller batteries. And there's just not as much money to be made so they don't get as much attention as the big 100 amp hour batteries. You know, this is a $50 battery. You know, that company might be making 20 25 bucks on it as opposed to a hundred amp hour battery which is in my opinion easier to build because here you got like 16 cells you got to solder up together on a hundred amp hour you got four cells so there's less work more money to be made in a hundred amp hour battery the bms they you know bms in them typically is is a higher quality bms than these little shitty little bms's in these smaller batteries so um it's unfortunate but that's that's how it is uh if you guys have any questions or yeah, requests for batteries that you want me to crack open, let me know, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.